we're going to continue with the IP past uh, paper uh, questions. We reach question number three from the document. Um, this question is on double slit interference. Now the question says we have monochromatic coherent light. Monochromatic, it means one, uh, one color. Red, green, uh, purple, one, one color. Is incident on two parallel slits, two parallel slits. So here we will have a constructive and destructive interference pattern. The uh, light waves will uh, spread out as they pass through uh, these two slits and we'll have bright, uh, dark, uh, bright, dark uh, fringes and so on. Now the question is, we have the distance from the slit till the screen is capital D. And here we have two points, point M and point P. M is directly opposite to the midpoint of the slit. Initially, the lower slit is covered. OK, this one is covered initially. And the intensity of light at M is due to the upper slit only. So the, the intensity was 22 watt per meter square. Deduce in watt per meter square the intensity in M when the lower when the lower slit is uncovered. Now we studied before as when we increase the number of the slit, the intensity also will be increased. Even though we're using the same source of light, the same source of energy is the same, but the intensity increase. If you remember the relationship, intensity, it's power divided by the area. So when we, when we increase the number of the uh, slit, each fringe, each bright fringe, fringes will become narrower. That means I will have less area. When the area is less, the intensity will be higher. So let's go back here. If I have double slit, I will have higher intensity. How can I calculate the intensity? Number of the slit times the intensity of one slit. So it will be four I1. If I have a three slits, I will have nine I1, which means three to the power two times I1. So the, the formula we're going to use here, I n, the number of the slits, equal n square, n is the number of the slits, times I1, the intensity of one slit. So here I have double two slits, so I2 will be two square, Intensity of one slit, you give it to me in the question, is it 22? So I will have 88 watt per meter square. Okay. Now, second part of the question. P is the first maximum intensity of one side, on, on one side of M. OK, so M will be the central maximum. And P, it will be the first minimum. The first, first maximum, sorry, first maximum. And this will be the central maximum. This is point P and this is M. Calculate the wavelength. Calculate the wavelength. Now, what is the formula we're going to use? If you remember, this is lambda. D is the distance between two slits. Here I will have capital D. This distance is capital D. OK. And here we will have bright fringes and then dark. 
and then fight and then dart. These are the battles. So the distance between the central of two uh, pride fringes, this is S. So the formula we're going to use is lambda, lambda, lambda over D will equal S over capital D, S over capital D. This is the formula. So lambda over small d, the distance between uh, the two slits will equal S divided by capital D. Now I need lambda, so do cross multiplication. Lambda will be small d times S divided by capital D. D is point 12 millimeter milli times 10 to the power negative 3 times S. S is 7 millimeter, 7 times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by 1.5. And um, this is equal 560 nanometer, nanometer. The width of each slit now is increased. Uh, D, D small and lambda remain the same. Suggest so why after this change, the intensity at P is less than the intensity at M. And if you notice here, interference pattern also is envelope. If you look here, uh, if we have double slit, the interference pattern, you have enveloped by a single slit. So the intensity, the intensity will be less. Now D, show that due to single slit diffraction, the intensity at, po at a point on a screen at distance uh, 28 millimeter from M, from M from the center uh, maximum is zero. Now I'm going to use the same equation, the diffraction equation sine theta if theta is really small so we can use theta equals lambda over d this is sine theta or tan theta if that again if the the, the angle is small tan will equal the angle so theta will equal s over d if these two are equals that means the angular position of the point coincide with the minimum of the diffraction. OK, so let's calculate this one. Lambda is 560 times 10 to the power negative 2 nanometer divided by distance D 0 0.03 times 10 to the power negative 3. And here we will have 0 0.018 radian and here s the distance between two fringes is 28 millimeter times 10 to the power negative 3 divided by capital d distance to the screen from the two slits till the screen is 1.5 so 0 0.018 radian so they're equal that means that means the angular position at this particular point coincide with the first minimum of the diffraction envelope. And the intensity, of course, if they coincide, the intensity will be will be zero. OK, that's it, folks. Um, next video will continue with the rest of the questions. The document I shared with you on Google uh, 